Welcome back. This is section two lecture, uh, and we're on work and kinetic energy. All right, and we'll see that work is kinetic energy. Okay, they're equal to each other. So kinetic energy is energy due to motion. All right, so let's imagine that I have a ball and it's going zero meters per second, and I do positive work on that. Does it make sense that I can take that ball from zero up to some speed, okay, by pushing forward? Now, I'm pushing in the same direction that it's traveling, okay? I'm pushing forward. It's going forward. If that's true, then I'm putting positive work on it. And if I'm doing positive work on it, I'm actually increasing its velocity. So it's accelerating, all right? So if I can have anything to do with acceleration, which is a change in speed over time, or if I can have something to do with a change of velocity to where I have a velocity, I can still understand that based upon work. If I do positive work on something, it's going to increase in speed, okay? If I do negative work on something, its speed decreases. Imagine catching a baseball, all right? I'm taking my glove and I'm pushing it into the ball as it's hitting my glove. That ball is traveling towards me. I'm pushing away from it. So my force that I'm acting from the glove onto the ball is moving 180 degrees from its, from its displacement. So I, as a catcher, am doing negative work on it. And by doing negative work, I'm slowing that ball down. To do positive work on something, I can speed that ball. So the pitcher is doing positive work on the ball. The catcher is doing negative work on the ball. All right. Now I derived this for, for you in one of your uh, problems today. I, I can do it again if you want me to. I can just email me and I can give you the, the simple. But basically, if you know that acceleration is, let's just take from acceleration, you're going to have a final velocity minus initial velocity over time. That's acceleration. And if F equals MA, okay, then M times this, that's your force, okay? So what we could start there. There's our force. Distance, remember, is velocity times time. Okay, distance is velocity times time, and it's going to be an average, um, an average velocity. So an average velocity is going to be v sub i plus v sub f over 2 times time. All right, now you've got your perfect algebra 1 where you, you've got a something plus something times that same something minus something. So you're going to end up with squares. So you'll end up with, in this case, work equals m times the square of the final velocity over 2 minus m times the square of the initial velocity by 2. Now, if your initial velocity is 0, then the whole second part can go away, and you can end up with 1 half mv squared. We'll see that that is a kinetic energy. The kinetic energy, or the energy due to motion, is one-half mv squared. Well, it's still one-half mv squared, but if, if it didn't start at zero, then you're going to have to take, in this case, one-half mv squared final, the final velocity, minus one-half mv squared with a v as your initial velocity, and that's your total work. Okay, so let's say that the merry-go-round is going around, and it's going around at a certain speed, and I push into the merry-go-round and I make it go faster. Okay, yeah, I have an initial velocity of say, you know, 30 revolutions per hour, and then it, it went up to 31, okay, by me pushing onto it. So I've sped it up based upon um, doing work on it. I did positive work because my force was in the direction of the displacement or the movement. So we have two different things. We first of all have another formula that if you have something with velocity or something with acceleration, then you know that you're using one half mv squared equals work. If you're just given a, a distance and a force, it's f times d equals work. Okay. And then also we know that that's the kinetic energy uh, also, and we'll see that later. Okay. 
So that's just the sum. The total work is equal to the total energy. Now that seems really, really redundant, but energy is like money and work is what that money can buy. So if I have $5, I can do $5 worth of buying. Okay, I, if I have $5 worth of energy, I can do $5 worth of work. That's why work and energy are both in joules. All right, so uh, the total kinetic energy is equal to the total work, and this is the formula of kinetic energy, one-half mv squared.